G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum on episode 312. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's start the day by just checking out the mail here. Uh, got a few things. Oh, this is uh, the one from yesterday from Franklin. Uh, let's see what he says today. Just letting you know that I appreciate everything you are doing for our town. Thanks Franklin, I appreciate you too making all those very useful tools for us. Something from Clover. Here's a bit of pocket money for you. I know it's not much, uh, but you do so much for the town. I wanted to thank you some way. It's very nice of you, Clover. Uh, 5,000 dink, not bad. We are sort of running low on the dink front right now, so I do actually appreciate that. Uh, all right, in terms of what we'll get up to today, oh, um, Spike's just like hanging out with the traps. Uh, for a while there, I was sort of a little bit worried about the, the boys getting sent off to the Animal Research Center, uh, but uh, luckily that's not a thing, so uh, good to know. Let's just quickly grab some of the things that we need from here. Um, got some bananas, we'll probably just put that away for a second. Uh, let's maybe tend to the animals first. Uh, I do want to check the crab pots immediately after this. Now, in the previous episode, guys, we uh, sort of did quite a lot of work on the Blue Ruru project. I feel like we're getting very close to uh, completing the project, but uh, I sort of want your opinion on how we should, uh, I guess, uh, do the finishing touches, if that makes sense, because uh, I'm sort of in two minds as to whether or not we, uh, you know, use stones or if we actually just use soil on it. And uh, yeah, I'll be keen to find out what your opinions are on that front, guys, because uh, does he eat the... yeah, good, good. Raw drumsticks. These guys like raw drumsticks as well. So there we go. Uh, yeah, so I, I need uh, some guidance, guys, so uh, let me know what you guys think uh, and we'll try and uh, follow the advice. Uh, let's just quickly take a look at the farm here, uh, just making sure that things are chugging along as they should be. Uh, and uh, yeah, I do need to sort of think about what we're going to get up to today. Most likely we are probably going to make a start on the second Overlook project, uh, which should be, uh, I guess, happening near uh, the town proper. So uh, we wanted one Overlook that looked uh, into the farm, and then we wanted a Overlook that looked into the town. So I think that's pretty much what we're going to get up to today, uh, a brand new project. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it'll look nice and hopefully it won't take too long because with the um, With the dirt printer, I assume we should be able to get that work done pretty quickly uh, We also need to spend a bit more time setting up our uh, little flower farm here uh, So we'll do that a little bit later Jumping in into the heli right now because uh, I do want to just make it out to Blueru. One of the things about Blueru the other day was uh, I wasn't entirely sure uh, how it looked like in the actual daytime when there's actually a lot of sunlight. Uh, so in my mind, uh, the real Uluru is like a, a very red earth kind of color. Uh, so, I'm just curious to see if uh, that would be the case if we sort of looked at this thing uh, during the daytime. Mm. Anyway, uh, that's what it looks like when there's a lot of light, guys. Uh, so the question is, does that look alright or do we want to maybe switch it up and just use soil instead? Um, I'm leaning towards getting rid of all of the stones, to be honest, guys. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll wait a few more episodes for you guys to sort of catch up uh, to where I am, and then I'll come back to Blue Ruru, and then we'll sort of sort out, uh, you know, how to how to finish up the project. 
we can probably have a few stones there. Uh, maybe not covering the entire thing. That's what I was thinking uh, if we were to go the no stone route. Uh, but anyway, let's make our way into town and, and we'll just do what we need to do there. Uh, pick up the dirt printer and then we'll start work on the next project. Uh, now, I, I feel like I'm rushing a little bit and I, I think that's definitely true because I, <laughs> I'm sort of uh, wanting to finish a few projects before we wrap up Dinkum completely. Uh, and, you know, I've had all these ideas for this project and that project and uh, here we are, uh, you know, getting close to the end of the playthrough and not having completed a lot of those things that I said before. So, uh, I'm going to try my best to get there. Uh, let's put that there. So we've got a bit of a supply now. Um, could probably put a few things away here as well. All right. Um, how's the milk front going? 36. Okay. Well, I want to start making some cheese, maybe. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, that can go there. Uh, I should actually put the stone ones away. Might not be uh, a bad idea. Let's continue on our flour production. Uh, got some teas ready for the brewers. Let's do that. All right, good stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, we got these raw giant drumsticks. I can't really remember if we're keeping any. Yes, we are actually. Oh, actually no, that's just the plain raw drumsticks. Maybe I should keep all of the the raw drumsticks together, and then we can just drop this there. Yeah, all right. Um, maybe I can bring some of this home with me since uh, that'll be good for the crab pots. Uh, let's go to John's, put down a few things. All right, and that can go there. We'll drop off our wands. All right, looking good. Uh, I do want to make a few more rock paths, so let's just quickly go ahead and do that. Uh, probably need those rocks. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many we need, but uh, maybe we'll get to about a hundred or so. I'll be happy with that. Okay, I think that should be enough for now. And, uh... Actually, I should make the the brick flower beds as well, since we're here. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that's enough, but we'll see how we go. Uh, other things that I do want to do, because I keep forgetting to do this, but... Uh, I want to make a few farm structures that just act as decoration. So uh, that'd be cool to have uh, around the, the large farm just to make it look a little bit livelier. Um, should I do that now? I suppose I could. A wheelbarrow flower bed. Okay. I uh, haven't really made any of these before so yeah we could maybe make one of those i don't know where we would keep it though maybe just at the farm proper uh we need an actual wheelbarrow for that though so uh i wonder if john's selling any today would be a good excuse for us to drop a amber chunk ah i see you've got a nice amber chunk there looks like it weighs around 3.8 kilos 
How does 75,000 sound for it? Sure, no worries. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the best rates at this point. Yes, here we go. Wheelbarrow. Uh, how much are these worth? 30k. Okay. Kind of expensive, aren't they? <laughs> I say that now purely because I don't really have a lot of money on hand, but let's just keep that there. Um, let's just quickly grab that. And let's... Uh, just quickly check on uh, a few different structures here. So the windmill, again, definitely something that I do want to get. Uh, it does need quite a few materials, doesn't it? So let's grab what we need. There we go. Old gears. Old springs. Uh, iron bars, old wheels, we need, I think that's three? No, it was two. Okay, and iron bars. Cool. So let's just grab, uh, one of these crafted. Alright, good stuff. Uh, let's also just... Remove the tracking here. Um, oh, and uh, I suppose I should get one of those silos, shouldn't I? Maybe a few storage barrels in the area might not look too bad either. Um, but anyway, we'll we'll get the the major things crafted first. Uh, where would I find the silo? Ah, there it is. Okay, uh, we need quite a few things for this as well. Alright, let's start with the tin sheets. So... Actually, we need 15 of the tin sheets. All good. Bags of cement. So, we need a few more bags of cement. We're gonna have to just make some more, I suppose. Iron bars. Uh, quartz crystals. Eight of those. Okay, brilliant. Well, let's get this crafted. Alright. Very nice. Uh, again, I have no idea how many silos and how many windmills uh, I would like in that area, but uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, wheelbarrow... Uh, flower bed. So, we need a tin sheet for that. Those things are expensive, aren't they? 30k each uh, to buy those wheelbarrows, and then we've got to add a tin sheet to it to craft one of these for just one type of flower, I would say. It's probably the case. Whoops. Um, can I... Yeah, I can rotate this. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well, we'll decide later on where we're gonna keep it. Uh, for now, I think we should do what we said that we we're going to do in the morning, which is we're going to start on our uh, overlook. And uh, yeah, this is the area that I've chosen for the overlook. Uh, we'll sort of have uh, a similar thing uh, set up where there's a bit of a, a stairwell that sort of goes up uh, into the overlook. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to keep the water going around here. Uh, but I do also want to design a water feature that goes with the overlook itself, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go on that front. Uh, as usual, I don't really go into any of these things with, like, a, a solid plan. Uh, I just know roughly what I want, and, 
I hope for the best. <laughs> um, I was thinking whether or not we need to replace any of these trees. I suppose maybe we do. Let's just get some black trees or black wood trees um, replanted here. Okay, good. Uh, these bushes are going to have to go, I feel. Uh, so we're going to have to replant wattle seeds. Uh, but you know what? It could be that we end up replanting them as part of the overlook itself as well. So um, maybe we'll just keep the seeds for now and we won't bother... Uh, replanting them until we know exactly where they're going. So, um, more billy buttons here. Just get rid of that. Okay, let's let's make a start here. Now, uh, the other issue about this overlook is I'm not entirely sure just yet uh, where people are going to actually enter from, uh, but I assume it's probably going to be from the beach area. So we sort of branch off right here. Uh, so we'll get rid of some of these uh, some of these pathways here and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe branch out here and then we'll start sort of climbing stairs around this side. Uh, and hopefully that'll look nice. Anyway, let's uh, continue with the printing. God, I love the improved dirt printer. <laughs> I don't have to be so scared all the time now uh, whenever I do this kind of work. You know, one of these days, actually, I need to take the sailboat out and actually go sailing and have a bit more of a relaxing episode where we're sort of just exploring the oceans because uh, that's definitely something that I haven't done uh, at all actually. I mean we only took the uh, the the boat out that one time when we actually got it so uh, perhaps maybe we should think about doing that. I don't know maybe even the next episode? Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go because um, you know, there's obviously a lot of work to be done still. Uh, but we can have one day off, <laughs> I suppose.
Uh, looking pretty good. We're probably gonna have... Yeah, okay, so that's it for the dirt printer for now. Uh, I don't know how long the uh, the improved dirt printer takes to recharge, actually. Uh, it might actually still take a while to recharge, uh, same as what the normal dirt printer took, potentially. Uh, so we might not be able to work on this project for the rest of the day, maybe, or maybe we could. Uh, we'll have to see. The idea is also going to be we'll have a water feature that sort of has water trickling in into this pond from the top uh, somehow. <laughs> Again, I'm, I am not 100% certain of how that's going to look like exactly. Uh, come to think of it, we probably should set up uh, for, you know, uh, the, uh, the actual ascent. Uh, and uh, to do that we're gonna need some steps, right? So let's craft a few steps. Here we go, stone steps. Uh, and I have a feeling we are missing some stone steps somewhere out there as well, right? So there could potentially be some areas where we actually need to place down some stone steps. Uh, I, I just don't know where. Alright, uh, maybe a few more stone steps is in order. Okay, I think that's enough stone steps for the time being. Uh, okay, uh, gum nuts. I think we can leave the gum nuts. Let's get rid of that. Um... Cement goes there. I'll have to carry the wattle seeds for a while. Uh, we could probably put wooden logs away. Okay, cool. Uh, so, in light of all of the stone steps that we currently have, I might actually make my way to this area here. I have a feeling that we might be missing a few things there. So, let's just check out the bridge and uh, see what's going on there. Speaking of bridges, uh, I think it might also be a good idea if we spent some time uh, replacing some of the smaller bridges with large, uh, you know, double-sided, double-sided, double-width bridge, bridges, um, and that would uh, essentially let us cross uh, some of these rivers a little bit safer, especially when we're riding on the bike. Uh, yeah, these actually don't have uh, lamps, so uh, we do actually need a couple of lamps set up for uh, this bridge. So I'm thinking maybe we should craft a few. stuff. You know what, I'm uh, sort of a little bit worried about uh, the number of bottle brews that we've currently got going. Um, we have been ma making a lot of waddle brews in the last several days, but not so much on the bottle brews, so uh, if we do plan on going back into the mines, we might need to think about making a few more of those. Uh, let's drop that there, and... Just quickly store a few. Um, okay, so actually, uh, I actually wanted some of these. Yeah, let's uh, let's grab that, and uh, I want to make 
some lamps or lamp posts. Uh, so hopefully we've got the materials we need here. The fencing is probably going to be the difficult thing. We have one palm wood fence, so um, we'll probably need a few more. Oh, we probably need some quartz as well. Let's uh, get this done. So fencing first. Okay, and now we should be able to get the lamps, right? Something missing. Okay, torches. Do we have torches sitting around anywhere? Yes, we do. Lucky. And we're out of nails. Let's fix that problem up. There we go. Ooh, okay. Um, I didn't even know that you could make more than one bulletin board. I thought that... Uh, yeah, I thought there was only room for one, but apparently you can make more than one. That would kind of be interesting, but... Uh, I don't know where else we would put the bulletin boards, though. Uh, let's just make one more lamp here before we continue. And we'll just put all of our materials back. Okay. Let's head back and let's get that bridge lit up a little bit. Feeling like we probably need a few more lamps uh, at the greeting area. It seems a little bit dark, doesn't it? Ah, we've passed it. Okay, so I'm thinking obviously there's going to be a lamp on each side, like that. And one more on this side, as soon as we get rid of this croc. Uh, we probably just need to rearrange some soil a tiny bit. Okay, that looks decent. And I'm thinking maybe one more, or sorry, a couple more, maybe something along those lines. Happy with that. Feeling a lot safer now with some lighting over there. We do have a missing bridge on this side, don't we? Uh, so uh, I remember we did start working on the area, we just didn't have the bridge for it. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, I could probably put some of the steps down. Okay, now we just need to get a bridge crafted for it. Uh, I don't know what kind of bridge would be good. I suppose we should sort of mix it up a little bit. Maybe we can make like a hardwood bridge or something like that. But uh, anyway, let's head back and uh, yeah, I'm sort of thinking what else we should get up to in the day. We do have all this stuff that we can uh, place down at the large farm as well. Just 
thinking about whether or not we've got maybe overkill on the lighting over here. Maybe it is kind of overkill, isn't it? Maybe we'll get rid of one. Uh, and we'll just have the one lamp facing inwards. I think that is probably a better solution there. And then we can use the spare one over here. Uh, maybe we can get rid of one of these. And we can place this like so. Or maybe it doesn't make a little bit more sense to put that there. I think that looks okay. Uh, I don't know why this fence is... is, you know, uh, sort of semi trying to connect to the bunting festoons. That's actually kind of <laughs> frustrating. Uh, I thought the bunting festoons were their own thing. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, okay. That I'm not a fan of. <laughs> um, does that look okay? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't fuss too much about it. I'll leave it there. Uh, I suppose it's okay. Uh, Alright, I like that we've got a little bit more lighting here as well, so that's good. Um, I think we should maybe craft another uh, bridge. Uh, or can we do it another episode? I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, let's maybe craft it, that's fine. We'll, we'll get that done. Uh, I am still more keen on actually working on the project because our dirt printer seems to be ready but uh, let's see what's required for a bridge uh, okay we need some nails and we need a few more of those planks we'll get that organized Okay, so one hardwood bridge coming right up. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, this is a two tile one. Goodness me. I needed... Uh, I needed a single tile one. This is three tiles wide. This is two tiles wide. Is there no bridge that is just... Oh, hang on. Are the two tile uh, size ones the right ones? Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting confused, guys. So the three tile ones are the uh, are the large ones. Okay, cool. Um, let's hold off on going to the uh, the site for now, and let's just continue on with the project work because I think that's really top of my priority list right now so uh, if we can complete this you know in terms of the shape uh, you know pretty quickly then I'll be very very happy um, but if we need to spend more time on it you know for a few more days as well that I guess that is okay as well So yeah, I guess the first thing that I need to be content with though is the the height of the main overlook uh, area. 
And also, I need to be happy with the amount of space I actually have at the very top as well, so... I have to consider all of that. Uh, we are getting a little bit tired, aren't we? Do we have anything to eat? Maybe we've got some wheat here. There is some, uh, you know, bush limes out there we could probably get, but... Let's just be content with some raw wheat for the time being. Okay, looking good. Probably want to just add a little bit more soil down the bottom as well. Not make it look too rigid. I mean, I say that, but the entire game <laughs> pretty much is based on rigidity. Uh, most things look a little bit blocky, but... Just trying to make things look a little bit more natural. Yeah, I feel like it needs to go up much, much higher. Have we have we reached the top? Okay, we have we have reached the top, guys. <laughs> I don't think we can go even higher than this. All right, well, uh, that's a shame. I would have liked to be able to see more into the town, but that's okay. Uh, it'll have to do. Uh, so, considering the view that we've got to work with, uh, I'm thinking there may be a few spots where we need to get rid of some trees, uh, just to make the view a little bit clearer, uh, and that might make the place look a little bit nicer as well. But at least we have sort of determined how high we need to go. Um, that in turn is going to sort of dictate to me uh, how we're going to place down those steps to try and get up here. Uh, obviously, at the same time, we still need to make the place look semi-natural, uh, semi if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, I mean, we've got the steps with us right now. We could potentially give this a go. Yeah, I'm thinking actually reaching the very top um, might be a bit of an issue here. We might need a little bit more soil on this side.
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I won't say no. I almost feel like uh, the game is subtly telling me that uh, you ought to go see the deep mines. But, again, as I said the other day, I think we'll focus on the deep, uh, deep, deep mines another time. Uh, projects are definitely top of the list at the moment. Okay, so... Okay, uh, looking okay, I think, um, I definitely want still a little bit more of a platform looking thing up here, um, I don't know, it, it does look a little bit monolithic, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I wonder if perhaps maybe we, we should be sort of pulling some of the the steps out a little bit further. Maybe we need to enter through here. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, so let's take the steps away. We're going to have to print a lot more soil. Um, and uh, that way, at the very least, we're going to have like a bigger platform at the very top. Uh, and I think it'll look nicer that way as well. So uh, let's again... Maybe start by layering down the base. Uh, and obviously we're going to run out of charge here for the dirt printer. That's fine. Uh, we'll you know, continue working on it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. <laughs> However long it's going to take. Um, okay, I think that's the extent that we can work on this project for the day. It's uh, alright. Let's see if we can grab some bush limes. Okay. Uh, and I think this is going to be the episode, guys. I mean, I am tempted to go to the large farm and, you know, drop off some of the aesthetic stuff there, but I think we can do that in the next episode or so. Alright. Let's head back. Uh, so, since I've dropped the printer in already, we should be able to work on the project a little bit more tomorrow morning. Uh, but I think maybe tomorrow's going to be the day that we just, you know, uh, take a bit of a relaxing trip into the oceans and uh, and actually check out what we can fish and all that sort of stuff uh, since we haven't exactly done that activity in a very long time uh, and yeah we'll take the sailboat out uh, give that a spin uh, and have a good old time I would say uh, our inventory is looking horrendous right now uh, I'm just gonna see if I can just get rid of a few things yeah, all this stuff that we just picked up from the barrel is probably not helping, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay, we'll get over it. Um, I can go there. Yep, okay, well, 
there's just a few bits and bits and pieces here uh, maybe even we can start tomorrow morning by just placing down some of this stuff as well uh, I would like a, a free inventory before we decide to go out fishing because obviously each fish is going to take up one slot anyway so yeah anyway Hope you enjoyed this guys, uh, I am signing out, leave a like, a dislike or a comment or two down below. If you haven't voted for the next game, please do so in the community post as linked down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.